students in field of social service, how to manage time for this all involvement as we are too much busy in our civil service uh, system. Very good. I understand because we are shortage of time, but you are a student, how can you go for social service? You need not go to the villages for social service. Number one, during vacation what do you do? During vacation, you have got semester system, after the second, second, between first and second semester there is some gap. What do you do there? Can you go to a university? Can you go to Islam area? Can you educate us children? Literacy class? Health hygiene? Something can you do? Think it over. Where there is a will? There is a will. Think over it. Second, even when there is no vacation, you see social service does not mean that you have to go to the villages. In your house, there is a maid servant, there is a child of maid servant who is not having knowledge of English because of which he or she is not getting English. English. Very simple. If not that, if not that, you serve your parents five minutes. That also is a self service service. Charity begins at home. There are various avenues for service. And if you become good, the world becomes good. Can you become better? Then the world will become better. Can you do that? Now, without any additional involvement, any additional expenditure of time and energy, you can do service to others. You can do service to others, provided you are available. There are thousands of ways in which without any additional energy, just by change of attitude of work, you can be a blessing to men and humanity. You may not go for a very big project. Take small, small things. It is the attitude that counts. It is the attitude that counts. By being, Swami Vivekananda says, to be happy and smiling always takes you nearer to God than any prayer in this world. Can you be always happy and smiling? Yes. That is the benefit to humanity. That is also a service to humanity if you are always happy and smiling. Because it is an infectious disease. Despondency is an infectious disease. If you are depressed, the next person also becomes depressed. If you go to, there are four or five percent depressed people sitting, and if you go there, you also become depressed. <laughs> it is a very infectious disease. That is why Swami Vivekananda says, do not go out of your room when you have got a clouded face. <laughs> you do not have the right to spread this disease called melancholy into the society. <laughs> when you are depressed, leave, get inside your room and lock up there. When you go out, have a smiling face. And Swami Vivekananda himself also used to remain always cheerful. He said, the first condition you are becoming religious is that you are becoming cheerful. That is the first condition. Long faces do not make religion. So, if you are not able to do service, social service, charity begins at home. Whatever little service you can do, but you will find even little bit of unselfish service will begin to give peace of mind. That is one of the best ways of getting stress management. <laughs>